Hi everybody, Roy here, and I'm very excited to be here today. Uh, this is Susan, and she hired me, I think two or three years ago, to design some gardens for her at, on her and Taylor's property. And we started with the one you see behind me, and she and Taylor enjoyed them so much, they decided to add another one, and by golly, we're gonna add one more. So it'll total up to be about a little over 3,000, maybe 3,500 square feet of, of gardens. But there's something very unique about how these gardens are loved and cared for. And I wanted to, to share this with you, Susan's story about the care and nurturing of the planting. So Susan, if you, a little bit about who you are and yeah. what you do and, and your story about how you care for these gardens. Yeah, it's great to be here. Um, I love these gardens and I love Roy's talent of how he plants the gardens together and the story he tells about the plants. and. I care for these gardens by myself. I'm getting a little help from my mom now that I have one hand. Um, but I care for these gardens every day. I come out, I have a full-time job, so I work from home luckily, and I come out at lunch sometimes, or definitely at the end of the day, come out and just walk around, see what's new, work on the weeding. The Dutch hoe is my best friend, so I work around the edges, mm -hmm. pop in. It's obviously the most work in, in the spring when things are starting to come right, up before right. things have started to fill in. Um, but, you know, at this point in the season, it's just wandering around the garden mm -hmm. every day and looking to see what doesn't belong there and pulling it out, using the Dutch hoe around the edges and taking care of everything. Well, it seems like what you've done is you've, I don't know if it's your nature, but you've created joyful gardening for mm -hmm. yourself. And I imagine that when you come out and weed for 15, 20 minutes every day or every other day, yeah. It doesn't overwhelm you. You're no. not overwhelmed by anything. No, it's, it's actually relaxing. You know, it's just a nice relaxing kind of work is over, haven't had dinner yet, just come out, mm. wander around, look and see what's going on. And um, it's just a nice way to calm down at the end of the day it's just, yeah. and see, and every, it changes every day. So I'm taking pictures and pulling weeds. And, and you do have a business. I do, you, I, I, work full, I work full time. I have other hobbies. I, you fly I like to, places. I, like, I travel for work. I like to bike um, when I don't, haven't broken my arm mountain biking, but um, yeah, I have lots of other things that I yeah, do, yeah. and um, yeah, our children are grown, so I don't have any kids at home, but I have lots of other things mm -hmm. going on in my life, but this, these gardens and this property are just, the, you know, just such a joy for us, and it's lovely to care for them. And you, uh, part of your success would be your consistency. Right, oh. It's not, well, I'll wait two weeks <laughs> before I go out there. Yeah, no, for sure. I was traveling um, for a week in May, so I came back, and it was a little hectic mm -hmm. to, to get caught up again, but... Um, that was probably the worst time to travel in May right, when things were starting right. to come up. But otherwise, if I just do an hour, you know, here mm -hmm. and there, or 15 minutes here or there, or even like if I have a minute between breaks, I'll come out for five minutes between meetings, mm -hmm. pull out a couple weeds and just see how things are going. And that's a joyful leaving of the house. It's <laughs> not like, oh my God, I gotta go out there now. It's very joyful. I love to see the, be there's so many bees in this garden and I just love mm -hmm. to see the bees doing their work. They don't care what I'm doing. We kind of coexist and, it's just a really nice moment that calms me down. So let me ask you, since the gardens went in, what have you discovered about gardening or about yourself or about plants or what kind I of mean, discoveries have you made? From you, I've just learned so much about how they relate to each other, you know, and how some plants work well with other plants and okay. their growing yeah. patterns. Um, and I, that's, I appreciate the thoughtfulness that you put into that so that there's not one thing that's overwhelming the garden and things start to grow together. Mm -hmm. So that's been really interesting to see how they all coexist mm -hmm. in okay. a joyful kind of, you know, harmonious yeah. way. Kind of a good relationship. A hundred percent of good relationships. Yeah. 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 It's really, it's been, I, and that's something that I didn't know, but it's it, lovely to see how they can all have their own space, but connect with each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And you mentioned the just insects. I, I still can't name 90% of the insects <laughs> I see. Yeah. But I see a lot of activity. Oh, yeah. Around the garden. Yeah, yeah. With, there's bees. The bunny just came running out. There's little frogs I catch in there. <laughs> we want to see in, the once in a while. So it's nice to see all of the things that live, not just the plants that live right. in these spaces. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I, see, I love this story <laughs> because I always try to express to people that gardening can be joyful. It doesn't have to be where you have to hire a truckload of guys to come out and do all the work for you. It's moment to moment, caring and loving something. And mm -hmm. you do that so beautifully. Thank you, yeah, that's, thank that's, you. That's, yeah, and it's, and, I mean, it's worth it because yeah. then you can sit, you know, on the deck when you're not working in it and just look out and enjoy how beautiful it is mm -hmm. and how it changes 
Every day it's different. And you're adding one more. Adding one more. You're not more. even overwhelmed with 2,000 no, square feet. No, <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's not. It's really not that hard if you just give it a few minutes a day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's, you know, you guys come and cut it down in the spring, which is great. And then oh, yeah, everything yeah. else is me. Yeah. yeah, I think we mow it. You mow it down in the spring yeah. and then I take care of it the rest right, of the year. Right, and That's Every time I come out, I go, wow, this looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Very well it's, loved. Um, it is really fun and joyful for me to take care of those gardens. It just makes me happy. Yeah, right? see, that's a good way to end, isn't it? To be happy. I think that we can share that with everybody. Yeah. So thanks, everyone. Hope this helps. If you have questions, let us know. Thank you. Bye. Bye.